HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. And welcome to HCAM News, Tom Nappy at the Anchor Desk to keep you up to date with what's happening in Hopkinton. On this edition of HCAM News, we will take a look at some of the first day of school festivities. We have a preview of this year's Hiller Girls Volleyball Team and the Education Station hosted a one-year celebration. But first, here are some happenings in town you should know about. Hopkinton High School has a new athletic director. Richard Cormier takes over as the AD and with him brings a whole lot of experience. Talk about how your uh, first day has gone here at Hopkinton High School so far. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's honestly, it's been great. Uh, it's been crazy, uh, certainly. Uh, coming in at the start of the fall season, or really the fall season already being underway, has been a bit of a challenge. But the coaching staff, the students, everyone's been great that I've met so far. Uh, and now we're working on rescheduling some things because of the Triple E situation. Um, but really, it's been great. It's just a matter of getting to know everyone and uh, sort of get the lay of the land and figure out where everything is and how to do things you know, the right way. Prior to accepting the job in Hopkinton, Rich served as the athletic director of Foxborough High School. So in terms of education, I started my career at Norwood High School uh, as a teacher and a coach. Uh, I was at Norwood for 12 years. Uh, I was the head boys basketball coach there for nine. Uh, I also coached baseball and volleyball while I was there. Um, and then after serving as a dean of students my last two years, that I was at Norwood, I ended up being fortunate enough to get an athletic position at Foxborough, uh, where I've been the last three years. Um, I had a great experience at Foxborough. Um, it's a great community. Being part of the Hockamock League has been awesome. Um, but this job was just a really great opportunity to come to a school of the caliber of Hopkinton, you know, academically, athletically, uh, and it's also closer to my home. Um, I don't think it's a secret that an AD's hours are a little bit sporadic. Um, so the ability to be a little bit closer to home and, you know, run home and see my kids before a night game if I need to, uh, things like that is, is definitely appealing as well on a personal level. So far, Rich has enjoyed working with last year's athletic director, D. King, and the rest of the Hopkinton High School staff. Obviously, uh, D. King was the AD last year. Did she help you at all kind of transition into the position here? Absolutely. D's been great. She's been a huge resource, and, and having her still in the building in the guidance department uh, is definitely uh, very helpful for me. Uh, Lou Sanborn uh, has been terrific as well. Uh, Evan Bishop, really everybody uh, is willing to help out and, and do whatever they can to make sure that this is a smooth transition. Because ultimately, you know, the most important thing is the students and making sure that their experience is not affected by the change uh, from D to me. All right, well, we want to welcome you to Hopkinton. We're looking forward to working with you. Awesome. Thanks so much. Looking forward to it. Aerial mosquito spraying is taking place in Hopkinton and many other surrounding towns after a Grafton resident was diagnosed with the triple E virus. The Hopkinton Health Department reminds everyone to be careful with outdoor activities and to use bug spray whenever outside during evening hours and anytime when you are in an area, mosquitoes could be present. For more information and further updates about mosquito control, head over to our website hcam.tv. The Hopkinton Senior Center is hosting an open house on Wednesday, September 18th. The open house includes free fitness programs and the annual bocce challenge between the Hopkinton Police and Fire Departments and the Senior Center's best bocce players. The bocce challenge will take place at 3 p.m. and air live on HCAM's YouTube page. For more details, head over to our website. School has started up and we have some great photos that were sent in to us from our followers on social media and viewers. Here is a look at some of the first day of school festivities in Hopkinton.
Coming up next, we preview this year's Hiller Girls Volleyball Team. The Education Station hosted a one-year anniversary celebration. And Matt Clark has our HCAM Insider. A whole lot more ahead. Stay tuned. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. Come to Western Nurseries on Saturday, September 7th for our third annual Blooms, Brews, and Barbecue event. Enjoy barbecue from PJ's and Gotta Q. Hot dogs from Snappy Dogs, fresh homemade ice cream from Yulman's, and beer and wine from Marty's Liquors. The F-Tones, Hot Acoustics, The Rationales, and South Street Band will be providing the beats. Join us for a day filled with food, fun, and friends. All proceeds benefit the Jimmy Fund, brought to you by Marty's Liquors and Western Nurseries. For more details, go to westernnurseries.com. The Hiller girls volleyball team are set to get their season underway. The Hillers have been an absolute powerhouse in girls volleyball in recent years and a look to continue that tradition. Here is a look at this year's team. The Hopkinton Hillers girls volleyball team finished last season with a 17-1 regular season record and 19-2 overall. The Hillers advanced all the way to the Division I sectional semifinals before falling to a very good Franklin team in five matches. This year's team will have big shoes to fill after a couple of their key contributors last season graduated, but this year's captains are ready to step up. I'm Angie Grabmeyer. I'm a setter right side. I'm Keelan Boyle. I'm the manager. I'm Morgan Allen. I'm a libero. I'm Jamie Hart and I'm a manager. I'm Ashley McDermott and I'm a right side. Um, in the first few practices, things have been great. It's been really nice to get a lot of new talent here because everybody's like so hype and ready to like go. And it's just been really nice to like have see the team bond and build. And I'm really excited for the rest of the season with all these people. Yeah, so we have a bunch of new players on the team. So we've been working on sort of working as a team and getting to know each other. And I think the flow is really good. We've been really getting along with one another. Um, this group's really fun to work with. There's definitely a lot of energy and a lot of talent. These practices have been good. We're all looking forward to this season. We think it's going to have a pretty good outcome. And a lot of our team goals are going to be achieved this year. The Hillers captains have big goals for this season. Personal goal would definitely be to win the TVL and continue that streak that we've been on. And I feel like that's, I feel like that's a good start. Um, for me, it's just to have the best season I've had so far. It's my last season, so I want to make the most of it. Uh, us seniors want to make it really good for all the players, help them achieve their goals. And obviously, we want to have our best season yet. This year's team managers are also entering their senior year and they have enjoyed working with the coaching staff and the players. They look really good. Tryouts were definitely super hard this year, but it was good to take stats at, and all their stats were looking like great for the season. And I'm super pumped to watch all the games. So, um, I think everyone looks really good. Um, I'm super excited, and I hope that I can help everyone out like as much as I can, take good stats, be there, make it a lot of fun. Coach Grabmeyer mentioned that she has enjoyed working with this year's group so far. This group has so much talent and experience. It's been awesome working with them. Um, and the new girls that we've brought in have just injected a really cool energy. So it's a really positive environment. It's been so much fun in the one and a half practices that we've had so far. Um, we lost some big, there were some big shoes to fill from graduation last year with most notably outside hitters, um, Jenna and Jenna Wilworth and Bella Ansi left some big shoes. So we're working on um, trying to terminate and finding our most aggressive hitters right now and trying to just be as confident as we can because it's a relatively young team, but they're very experienced. So just kind of getting the confidence of playing together and knowing that, realizing that they're as good as they are. So that's kind of what we're working on now. This year will also be the last season for assistant coach Mary Bransfield. This is Mary Bransfield, my assistant coach, and she's been with us. This is her sixth season, um, and it's been amazing working with her. Uh, she's really added a lot to the program, and she's going to be greatly missed. So we're going to make the most and make this the best and most fun season yet. 
pillar volleyball. The girls are on board for that too, just so you know. Excellent. Um, I'm very excited for this season coming up. As Margie said, they, we have three seniors who've been on varsity since sophomore year, so they bring a lot of experience and knowledge um, that I think they're going to be great leaders for the younger, younger players. Um, and as Margie said, the energy and the cohesion we're feeling already, it's, it's like this team has been together for a long time. So, and as for working with Margie, I was new to the whole volleyball scene and she's taught me a lot and I've learned to love the game and you know, she's a terrific coach. So the great things to have well in the future for her too. The Education Station is a tutoring service located right here in the same building as our studios at 77 Main Street. And they recently handed out free ice cream and a cool swag to celebrate one year in business. The Education Station celebrated their one year anniversary by handing out some cool gear and free ice cream. The company provides small group tutoring sessions in various subject areas. Today we are celebrating one year open to the public um, at Education Station. So we are giving away ice cream and swag and just inviting people to celebrate with us. And we are just honored and excited to have been here in the community. I am a mom in the community and one of the reasons we started this vision was so that we could bring affordable and accessible test prep enrichment and college counseling um, to the public here in Hopkinton. So that's sort of Education Station's mission in a nutshell. And we do all of our classes in small groups of four to six students in a group. Um, we have had a very popular homework academy. We are launching math and writing centers that will you know, help students in middle school all the way up to high school. The homework academy is for students in grades one through five. And then we have test prep for the ACT, for the SAT, um, and college process programs where you can come in and in a small group have the opportunity to um, work on your college applications at whatever stage you're in. We have programs that really run out of the space almost seven days a week. So yeah, thank right. you. Thank you for being here. A whole lot of programming is coming up on the HCAM channels. Standing by to tell you all about it is Matt Clark with our HCAM Insider. Hello everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the HCAM Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and I'm here to tell you what's happening this week on HCAM. On Wednesday, September 4th at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers girls volleyball team takes on the Medfield Warriors, live on HCAM Ed. On Thursday, September 5th at 7 p.m., the Hopkins School Committee meeting will air live in HCAM Ed. And at 8 p.m., Margie Wigan takes a look at the Hopkinton Center Trail in the pilot episode of the new HCAM show, What's Out There? On Friday, September 6th at 6.30 p.m., the Hillers girls volleyball team takes on the Dedham Marauders, live in HCAM Ed. And also on HCAM Ed, the Ashland Legion Baseball vs. Sandwich Game will air. If you want to know more about all of HCAM's shows before they air, then head over to hcam.tv slash connect, where you can sign up for our HCAM Insider newsletter. Or if you want to know more about what's happening in Hopkinton, you can sign up for our daily news updates. That's all for this week's Insider. I'm Matt Clark, and as always, thanks for watching. Back to you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget, you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website, hcam.tv, as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website for the latest happenings in our community and check out the Hopkinton community calendar to take a look at upcoming events in town. If you have a Hopkinton-related video, photo, or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at hcam.tv. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Happy school year, everyone. Take care, and we'll talk to you again soon.
on Saturday, September 7th from 11 a.m. until 7 p.m., West End Nurseries will host their third annual Blooms, Brews, and Barbecue event to raise money for the Jimmy Fund Walk. West End Nurseries president Peter Mezit talked with us about the event. So this is our third annual Blooms, Brews, and Barbecue event. We hold it in back of our garden center in this nice grass park-like setting. We call it the Coliseum. We've got a stage set up and we've got four bands playing throughout the day. It goes from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., DJ in between, and we've got food vendors. Uh, throughout the day we'll have uh, Snappy Dogs, we'll have PJ's Barbecue, we'll have Gotta Q Barbecue, we'll have Chef McFall, local guy here from town, and Yulman's Ice Cream will be here as well. The, um, the beer and wine will be flowing, Marty's is sponsoring, um, a lot of different local brew breweries will be set up here. Uh, Ted Twinney from Startline Brewing will be here as well. The whole goal of this fundraising event is to raise more money than we did the year before. Last year we raised just under $30,000 for our Jimmy Fund Walk team. This event raised about 7,500. We had about 800 people show up. So we're expecting good weather again this year. We hope to get more people this year as we're advertising it around town. You'll see signs. Um, we're also hoping to sign up a lot more people for our walk team. Our walk team is the key. Uh, you got to raise a minimum of $350. You can walk 26.2 miles. You can start at 6 a.m. here in Hopkinton. You can do a half marathon starting in Wellesley, or you can do as little as five miles or even three miles. But the point is to raise at least $350 to contribute toward the Dana-Farber Jimmy Fund. Um, it's an incredible organization. They give just about 100% of their money to the patients that are in need and the families and toward research. So again, we're expecting some great weather this year. Again, we always seem to have good weather. I don't want to jinx it, but we're going to have great weather. And it's just a real fun event. It's really kind of laid back, great music, great people. A lot of Hopkinton local people come to this, so we're looking forward to it. Fundraising's going all right so far. We are uh, expecting to get 15 or 20 walkers on the team, and we're about halfway there. A lot more people are going to sign up this week. A lot of our employees walk it every year. My wife and I, walk it every year. My wife's walked it more than I have, probably 20 years in a row. Uh, so it's going well so far. We're also doing something called Dog Days, and we're going to have one in August and one in September to raise money for the Jimmy Fun Walk team as well. So whatever we can do, uh, but again, it's mainly based on the amount of walkers and the walkers reaching out to their, their contacts to raise money. And the walk is an incredible experience. you got to do it at least once. A lot of people do it multiple times. So rewarding knowing that you're, 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 you're burning about 2,700 calories along the way uh, for such a good cause. And uh, when you started this event, did you ever think that it would get the response that it did? It, it, was, uh, it seems to grow every year. You know, it's, a, it's kind of a homegrown, homespun event for us. It's, it's, we're at the one mile marker um, at the Boston Marathon. And, you know, this event, like the um, Patriot's Day Boston Marathon, it just clears out afterwards and people don't even know what happened. But we wanted to kind of take an ownership, business ownership position in this, um, this tremendous event and, and, and create much more awareness. About, um, I'm going to say about 9,000 walkers and about $9 million were raised with this event last year. So this party is just, again, to raise more money for this Jimmy Fun Walk and create more awareness and get people to sign up for the walk team. So you can find out more information about the Jimmy Fun Walk and the Blooms, Brews, and Barbecue, and you can sign up for the walk by going to westernnurseries.com backslash events backslash BBB 2019, I believe. And um, we also incentivize, once you sign up, we pay for it. You gotta put a dollar in your credit card just in case you don't raise the minimum but we pay for your registration fee. We pay the 24 out of the $25. And then if you raise $500 or more, we give you a $50 Western Nurseries gift card. And if you raise $1,000 or more, we're gonna send you a $100 Western Nurseries gift card. So how easy, easy is that? It's a great cause and now you got a great incentive to go along with it.
aerial mosquito spraying is taking place in Hopkinton and many other surrounding towns after a Grafton resident was diagnosed with the triple E virus. The Hopkinton Health Department reminds everyone to be careful with outdoor activities and to use bug spray whenever outside during evening hours and any time when you are in an area mosquitoes could be present. For more information and further updates about mosquito control, head over to our website hcam.tv. The Hopkinton Senior Center is hosting an open house on Wednesday, September 18th. The open house includes free fitness programs and the annual bocce challenge between the Hopkinton Police.